England 2, Germany 0 and football may actually be coming home. I can't believe it. England have broken their curse and have beaten Germany 2-0 in what was really, let's be honest, an awful game of football from start to finish. Both teams lacked real quality, but England came out winning. I don't think anyone in the country would care one bit how the game ended up as long as England won and they did. Now, from start to finish, it was a cagey football game. England tried to match Germany's back 3-5 and did the same thing with Walker, Stones and Maguire and then Trippier and Shaw providing the width. And for the first half, he looked all right. Germany started better for the first 15. They were the one, the aggressors having the ball. England kind of started slow. They looked a bit nervous. But then once Saka got himself on the football, started to impose himself. Same with Sterling. England started to get control of the football, started to create chances. They had a couple of really good chances. Granted, they were from set pieces and Maguire got on the end of it, but it was just a bit over. But then as the uh, first off started to draw to a close, Germany got involved again, started getting the football um, started making their passes. Werner got through a couple of times, missed a couple of chances as he normally does. Let's be honest, Timo isn't clinical. But yeah, and the first half ended and it was tight. Nil-nil, average football game compared to the two brilliant games we saw yesterday. But we all knew this. We knew it'd be a cagey game. England-Germany always is a lot at stake. Pride, the history between the two nations. Obviously, there was wars fought between the two nations and now there's a football match to go with it. And the second half came out and I'm thinking, OK, let's liven it up a little bit. And it was dead. It was completely awful. It was a flat, flat second half. Nothing really happened until the change happened. Saka came off, well played to me. He literally tried. He was a catalyst for the team, made something happen. Jack Grealish came on. The game started to open up a little bit. Literally, Nabry came on as well for Germany. He did absolutely nothing. He was atrocious. I think every time he touched the football, he gave it away. Like, literally did absolutely nothing with the ball. Yeah, Nabry came on. Um, Nabry and Grealish came on. Grealish started to create some pockets. He had the ball, so I make something happen. Draws defenders to him. Literally, football is a very, very simple game. There's 11 men on the pitch unless someone gets sent off. If Grealish is drawing a man to him, that means there's going to be space in the other side of the pitch. And that's what he understood. He understood angles. He understood... Literally, it's just simple, simple maths and football. Grealish got the ball, drawn a man to him, Shaw sure, overlapping on the left side. Grealish put him through, Shaw sure, literally perfectly just sprayed it along the ground, over across the box, and Sterling managed to finish it. And thank God he did, because Kane would have been offside if he finished that. And yeah, that's 1-0. The country erupts. Everyone goes crazy and stains absolute limbs in Wembley. And then you're thinking, right, don't throw this away now. Germany have 14 minutes plus air time to score. That's more than enough time. You've got about five. Plus, you've got Calvin Phillips and Rice who basically just sit there. There's no way you throw this game away. But they almost did. Literally, straight pass. I think it was by Sterling. And then Muller was put through. And he had the whole of the Wembley to himself. Literally drove through on goal. No one was near him. Centre of the goal. Perfect positioning. Pickford, Pickford comes out and he misses. Honestly, go watch the replays. There's no way Muller should miss this. Like By his standards, that should be a definite goal into the bottom corner. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. I thought England were going to throw it away. He doesn't. That should have been 1-1. It's not. It remains 1-0 England. And they live to regret it because England attack again. It's whipped in. And Harry Kane is a great finish because the way it's coming in, he angles his head to head it down into the ground. No chance for Neuer. And then it's 2-0 England. And that's game over. Lock off. No chance for Germany. England win the game. They go through... Football probably now is coming home. Like, there's no one can deny it now. Let's be real with it. Like, their side is piss easy. They've literally got Sweden or Ukraine to play next. Okay, we saw what happened to France, Switzerland yesterday, but Sweden, Ukraine, favourites. Then they either play Czech Republic or Denmark. Sweden or Ukraine and Czech Republic or Denmark. Those are two extremely winnable games, and then you're in the final. And you didn't have to play France. You're playing Belgium or Italy. Italy looked average. Belgium you can beat. Like, come on, man. You've then got Spain or you've got Switzerland. Spain look average. There's no reason England cannot win this um cannot win this Euros now. They've literally got the stimulus package with the fact that it's all in England as well. They're going literally, they're going abroad, which will be tough because they're going they go they um going away from home comforts. They've played every game in Wembley. So it'll be see how it'll be hard to see how they cope now going to Rome to play the game, but come on now, man! Literally, if they beat Sweden or Ukraine, Sweden or Ukraine, they then go Wembley, Wembley back to back. I mean, the final is in their hometown. There's no way England throw this away now. Come on, there's, there's no there's, like you can't you can't throw it away. 
Like, you, you, honestly, you'd have to bottle it. They've got the bottler as their captain in Harry Kane. He plays for Tottenham. But even he cannot bottle this. And he finally scored, to be fair to me. He's done nothing this tournament. Nothing. But he finally scored. Hopefully that kicks him into gear now. But yeah, that's England beating Germany. That was the toughest game. They literally on everyone's calendar. And they've done it, to be fair to them. What do you think of the game? Let me know down below in the comments. And yeah, I'm I'm proud of Saka. He started my boy in 19. He did his thing. Got subbed off, unfortunately, but he did his thing. He was a catalyst for the team. In the first half, he was the one driving, making things happen. So a special mention to him. Maguire had an excellent game. Probably should have scored a couple of his chances. Pickford in goal. Look, another clean sheet. You cannot hate England. Four games, four clean sheets, man. I thought he was a weakness coming to the tournament, but Pickford's done his thing, to be fair to the lad. The defence did their thing. I can't really think of a player that was really like just atrocious. Everyone kind of did their job. Shaw was quiet, but he got the assist for the Sterling goal. You can't complain. Kane was quiet, but then he scored, so you can't complain. Literally, everyone did their job. Germany were atrocious. Like, literally, Germany were awful, awful. Really bad. But then you got to feel sorry for them because he didn't even get to train on Wembley. I feel like every all the dominoes just lined up for England this tournament. The game's being played. They don't travel. Literally, everything is lined up for England. Germany... Germany played atrociously. Like honestly, I, they, they they just did nothing the whole game. They just they passed it all right, but there there was no intensity. They didn't provide any pressure. It was England's game to lose, and they did win it. They've broken the curse. Can Gareth Northgate, Southgate, Eastgate, Westgate align the stars and bring England a European Championship for the first time in their history? Is it actually coming home? Who knows? Leave no leave it down in the comment section below. But that's been why I thought giving my uh, reaction to the game. A great game for England. An awful game for a neutral. But yeah, like and subscribe if you enjoy and turn the bell notifications. I'll catch you next time.